The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. We're back for another exciting day of wrestling action. I'm Maria and he's Dustin. Thank you for joining us. Last week was a wild first step in the walk down the red carpet to our next blockbuster event, the 2019 Red Carpet Rumble. We already have a new, another new United TV champion in Scorpio Sky. After over six months away from the company, Scorpio Sky returned out of nowhere mm -hmm. to utilize a rematch clause and prey upon the battered and war-torn Bateman to become champion for a record-breaking fifth time. The entire United Network is still shaken up, and we will hear more on that from Todd and Dan Joseph throughout the hour. Get all mad about it. We've got a huge eight-man tag built off the wild four-team tag title match from Coastline Clash. The tag division went off at Coastline, and this week they'll do it again in the main event. It will be interesting to see if the calm and focused Soul Burners can coexist with Double yeah, Platinum. Right. I know. Speaking of coexisting, we will see the new pairing of Super Beetle and Gentleman Jervis in action today after an upset win at Coastline Clash. Upset. I love those guys. All that and so much more this week, but let's head down to ringside. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. Kicking off action here this week on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood is the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. He's been under the tutelage of Ray Rosas. This youngster's got a lot of upside. We'll see if he can put it all together. Howdy Price making his way out here with his main ranchero, Rogelio. Came within a fraction of a second of becoming the Hollywood Heritage Champion at Coastline Clash. Get the earplugs ready. Howdy! <laughs> Sing along if you know the words. Well, if you got no money, don't say howdy. If you got no honey, don't say howdy. And if you're a big dummy, don't say howdy. But if you want a great howdy, come say howdy. <laughs> now, Rogelio, we was given a golden opportunity to bring some actual gold back to the price check ranch. And now what do we get for our troubles of our hard work? A tall stack of fool's gold. I've seen corn more golden than you, boy. But you know what, Rogelio? <laughs> I think it's feeding time. Can him. <laughs> Rogelio hits the ring and getting right after Jordan Clearwater, but the Golden Boy was wise to that attack and gets the early advantage. Rogelio getting the Golden Boy this week, not the gold he was looking for, wanted that Heritage title at Coastline Clash as he battled champion Uptown Andy Brown. Didn't get it done, but Adrian Quest got involved in there because Howdy Price tried to get involved by passing the Heritage title into the ring. Yep, Rogelio coulda, shoulda, woulda won that belt, that title, if not for the actions of Adrian Oh, Quest. look out here, how Ooh. about the strength? On display by the Golden Boy. Follows up nicely with the leg drop. Time-tested combination of moves there into the cover. Yeah, Golden Boy, he, he's big. He's a big, tall kid. He's strong, but he is not the side of beef that is Rogelio. I don't know if you want to keep going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, trying to fight, throw shoulders at this guy. Might hurt. Clearwater, though, using physicality to get the advantage, but... That has been nullified now in a big way. Big belly-to-belly -belly throw by Rogelio. I seen him throw a full-grown cow like that. He's got no trouble throwing Jordan Clearwater. 
Rogelio was looking to be up to the task at Coastline. Clash just came up short. And you got to think that he's got his sights now on the upcoming red carpet rumble. And certainly uh, uh, somebody with his size and strength and the way he throws people around, he could throw a lot of competitors over that top rope. I mean, not only that, you got Howdy Price. You got Howdy watching on the side. He's a smart man. <laughs> I thought you were... Alluding that Howdy Price might enter the red carpet rumble. Well, who could throw him out? Who, oh, man. Who's get him over the top rope? Good luck. They have a lot of gravity on his side. That is for certain. Rogelio now looking to put this thing on ice. Only a count of two. Nah, I think he knew that wasn't going to quite be enough. You know, maybe you get lucky and it's an easy win, but Jordan Clearwater, he's, he's tough. He is a tough kid. He keeps fighting. He keeps coming up. You know who's, who he trained under. You know the heritage under Carl Anderson. He's going to be a tough kid. Look. You can see the anguish on the face of the Golden Boy. Yeah, you talk of the tutelage of Carl Anderson, now recently a fixture in championship wrestling from Hollywood in Ray Rosas. Mm -hmm. So you're as good as your training, and certainly Clear oh. Clearwater has had that in spades and now going to work. And speaking of spades, how about last week? Thought it was going to be the ace of spades, but it was a low blow by Scorpio Sky to become the five-time television champion. More on that to come. Look out here. Maybe a bulldog on the way. Ooh. Takes him down. Take him out to pasture. Upset City. Mm. Too much power. So much strength. I mean, you, you have to beat down Rogelio so much because he's got so much power. It's so easy to just throw people off a pin attempt. Golden Boy instrumental in Ray Rosa's victory over Dickie Mayer at Coastline Clash. Ooh. You gotta remember, ooh, oh. wow, what a shot there by Rogelio. Rogelio. <laughs> They're coming down. Look at him. Rogelio only a couple weeks removed from that big war with Uptown Andy Brown for the Heritage title. But certainly looking up to task. Look out here, he's looking for that branding iron. Can he hit it? Oh. He does. That's all she wrote. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Rogelio. Rogelio getting another victim ready for market, and Rogelio getting himself ready, perhaps, for the red carpet rumble. I mean, Rogelio, if he if he gets that red carpet rumble, he's got as good a chance as anyone else to win it. He can just throw people around like Jordan Clearwater. A lot of people going to be thrown around later on in our huge four team, eight man tag team war. More action coming your way on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Don't go anywhere. Memphis weather can be tricky and so can repairing a roof, but not with Pro Shingle. Complicated insurance claims are easy with Pro Shingle. They'll handle that process for you. Pro Shingle offers free estimates and have financing plans in place so they can help you right now. Be sure to ask about their new roof shampoo. Locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured, it's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com, 901-258-6503, and let Pro Shingle help today. Sonic Summertime Chicken BLT has basil, aioli, and melty mozzarella. It's like they took a BLT and turned it on its head. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, mine's just upside down. Oh. There oh. we go. Woo. Oh, I thought we were upside down for a second. Hurry in for Summertime BLTs. Order ahead for happy hour anytime. Showered by bills? It's raining cash at 745 cash. Title loans, payday loans. I got $400. I got $2,500. And they even gave me $2 bills. I'm not a customer, but I referred my brother and got $100 referral cash. Why go anywhere else? We'll buy your loan from any competitor. Just go to 745cash.com and get started now. Go for the gold with a golden title loan. 745cash. It's the tag team attorneys, Matt Nordvit and Paul Prather. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Paul. And we're the tag team attorneys. If you have an issue you need help with, maybe you just have a legal question. Give us a call to tag us in so we can knock it out. 901-545-2TAG. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 339 pounds, the team of Adriel Noctis and Sketch. 
Set for tag team action here on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Last time we saw these two, they were having a tough time at Coastline Clash. Part of that big handicap match taking on the squash god, Watts. And introducing their opponents. At a combined weight of 3,000 butterflies and one beetle, the team of Gentleman Jervis and Super Beetles. And these two, Gentleman Jervis and Super Beetle, no stranger to strange tag team action. Yeah. In recent weeks, we saw what happened at part one of Coastline Clash, part of that wild six-man tag team matchup. A huge victory for Super Beetle in that. Yeah. he's. These guys are, they're just trouble. They're they are creative, but they're having fun. They're really difficult to get reads on. It's, it's almost impossible to know what they're gonna try to pull when they're in that ring, and they give people a lot of trouble. Independently, collectively, let's find out. Certainly unorthodox, hard to prepare for, and having a good time. Little Beetle and, and uh, busting the move. Still having a good time. That Super Beetle can move his uh, head, thorax, and abdomen pretty well there. Yeah, I mean, I, I have less sections on my body. I'm not able to control him as well as he does. It's incredible. Looks like it's going to be Sketch, the skate park scumbag. Taking on Super Beetle to kick things off. And momentum when it comes to the win column on the side of uh, Super Beetle here in this battle. Very much so. The last time we saw Sketch and Noctis, like you said, they got beaten up by Watts. But this time they're fighting a bug and a bunch of butterfly weight. So we'll see. Trying to get under the skin in the early going. Oh, and a little uh, little ballroom dancing into this. Is that going to count as a tag? Referee says yes. And maybe Adriel Noctis will have a little bit better luck. We'll see. Up, oh, Trying the same thing, throwing those fists early. Straight ahead approach there by Noctis, who is an excellent striker. Tag is made to Gentleman Jervis. Look out. Uh-oh. Wide open for the tickle. Look at that. Devastating double-team offense. That's yeah, so impossible to defend against. He's still going. Oh, that's the most Noctis has uh, smiled in years. <laughs> Don't often see a smile on his kisser. And now, oh, noogie time. Well, that'll wipe that smile off his face. Wait. And again. Like he's back in high school, huh, Todd? Yeah, this might bring back some bad memories for Adriel Noctis. I wonder how many times Jervis has stuffed people into lockers. Oof, and tickling again. And Noctis and Sketch have not come out of the blocks offensively, and I suppose you could argue that Gentleman Jervis and Beetle have. But Well, you could say that, but what damage has been done? What, what's been done? Tickles. Uh, psychological damage. Psych absolutely. But it just takes one clean punch to the face to f you forget about all that psycho. Oh, ah, there it is now. again. How do you prepare for this? How do you prepare in a match? Ooh, like that. Simple trickery. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Now he's going to get a talking to. He's going to get a scolding as Noctis. <laughs> been playing that music too loud, Noctis. Yep. Jervis. Oh, he's got his nose. He's got his oh, nose. Devis, this is, man, th that should be a blatant disqualification. He took the man's nose. Yeah, this is going to make breathing really tough for Adriel Noctis. Oh, and now a game of keep away with Noctis's nose. Uh, all right, now giving Sketch the nose. No. Well, uh, now to the outside. And at least Lord... Booble Snoot is nowhere to be found because he Look. might make a uh, chew toy out of that out of that nose. Yep. Thomas has the nose. Thomas has the nose. Could be. And here comes Jervis. And Super that. Beetle, Larry, Curly, and Moe. <laughs> Bit of a victory lap here. I, man, how about the agility of, of Thomas? 
Oh no, fumble on the play. Fumble what? on the play, perhaps. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna come up with the nose? I think Thomas still has it. Still holding on. It's back There's to so Gentleman many. Jervis. So recovered by the, uh, by the offense. And, and now Noctis, Noctis is gonna get his nose back. There we go, nose is restored. The world smells again. And a lot of leeway given by referee Odie Brown. Well, yeah, absolutely. Again, I think you take a man's nose off his face, that should be a blatant disqualification. Yeah. But Oof. Back in, short that almost took there their nose off, Todd. By Noctis. And see, this is it. All fun and games until somebody loses a nose. And somehow, out of that exchange, literally, of the nose of Noctis, Noctis and Sketch, for a moment at least, had the advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, Tag Team Wrestling 101, partner, what is it? Yep, isolate. Quick tags, cut the ring off, it's easy. Oh, that's not easy when you got a beetle tagging oh, in Cotton Valley. It's all fun and games till you lose your nose again. Oop. Gentleman Jervis in there. <sighs> Gentleman Jervis with the big hip toss. Again, Jervis showed what he's all about. Wasn't that long ago that win inside the Baines compound with Robert Baines, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Two. A leg sweep by Jervis. Pressing the advantage, you're in there, you're getting hit by all angles, you might get rug burn. Is, you know, just so many threats. Oh, Jervis making his way up, kinda. No. Oh, sketch. Comes in there, look at this, this this young duo are, are learning how to work together here. Ooh. And turn it physical and just got turned inside out, did Super Beetle, bit of a senton into a Ooh. short clothesline by Sketch. And gentleman has to make the save, how do you do? He had to go in. I like his instincts. He really has got a nose for this, Todd. <laughs> well, just follow your nose. It always knows. Ooh! Meeting of the minds again. That's happened a couple times to this young team, and that opens the door for some more double teaming here, presumably. Beetle oh. Buster oh. into the bunny hop. Nowhere to go on Look. that bunny. Pin one, two, three. Todd. Here are your winners, Gentleman Jervis and Super Beetle. Super Beetle, Gentleman Jervis get the victory. More tag team action coming up in our main event. Championship Wrestling Trivia is coming to Mississippi Ale House on Tuesday, July 16th. Free to play and all ages welcome. You ready, Maria? Probably not. What year was <laughs> Mid-South Coliseum built? That's a Memphis question. We'll be right back for the answer. The Mississippi Ale House with 30 craft beers on tap. Memphis Dogs, Side Street Burgers, OB Pizza. All connected by a big backyard with a family-friendly atmosphere. Come join us at the Mississippi Ale House, the tastiest corner in DeSoto County. Mid-South Coliseum was built in 1963. Did you know that? No, I did not. Get your stable together and join us for championship wrestling trivia. We'll see you at Mississippi Ale House Tuesday, July 16th. You have to put good things in to get great barbecue out. And no one in Memphis takes more care than Tops. Our master cooks grill the old-fashioned way. Slow, with constant attention in an open pit. See, that's real hickory smoke for even more flavor. From shoulder to ribs or brisket to one of our world-famous burgers, you'll love Tops because we do it right. Real barbecue always has been and always will be. Tops, come get you some barbecue. It's live RSWF Wrestling every Friday and Saturday night. Friday nights, just three bucks. Saturdays, only ten bucks. Get a Soul Taker burger while you're there. Oh yeah. 3715 South Perkins Road in Memphis. We are finally out of potty training stages and I feel like I can finally get my furniture back. We need something that's affordable and durable. Quartz Furniture is always high quality, plus they come with a Quartz Certified Guarantee. Get up to 70% off new retail prices and choose from a wide variety of previously leased sofas, bedroom sets, dining sets, and more. Make the smart choice and visit Court Furniture Clearance Center today at our Memphis location or check our inventory online. Mention TV20 and get 20% off. Kathy Campanelli here, and joining me at this time is the returning Robert Baines. 
Baines, you've been absent for months now. How did you convince head matchmaker? It did not take much convincing for Nico Marquez to offer me this championship opportunity. All it took was stating two facts. Fact number one, since debuting with the United Wrestling Network in November of 2017, I have never been pinned and I have never submitted. Fact number two, I never lost the red carpet rumble. I was never eliminated. And that singular event is what gave Andy Brown the opportunity at the Hollywood Heritage Championship. So Andy Brown, I want to thank you for holding on to that belt. You've been a fine paper champion. But once Robert Baines gets his hands on it, it will be elevated once again to a championship more than a simple belt. Robert Baines takes on Uptown Andy Brown next week. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from deep in the heart of the Amazon, weighing in at 188 pounds, Piranha Conrana. What a reception for Piranha making oh. his debut. Look at a whole school of Piranha fans out there in the house. But giving his adversary, I would just swim right back out of here. And introducing his opponent, this is Watts. Well, we've seen some wacky stuff on this episode, but I do believe that playtime is over. Yeah, yeah, and Watts has turned a corner recently. He has just become a beat down machine. Nobody's been able to do practically nothing has been able to be done against him. Total dominance, he's yeah. been calling his shots. Defeated three men at Coastline Clash, coming off of a victory over Vinny Wasco, and now in there with Piranha. What do you know of Piranha? Well, he's a slippery little devil. He's just a baseball playing fish. Look, oh, there you go. Scooting out of the way of trouble. That's smart. Don't get tangled up. Don't get caught by Watts. Very elusive. Look at that. Just, mm -hmm. just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Get out of there. Get out of harm's way. There Eventually, he'll bite you. Well, I mean, Piranha, they typically hunt in packs. So <laughs> it might be a little different. Like I said, he, he's got a, a whole lot of support Dude. from his schoolmates there out in the... Uh, in the crowd and reaching for him now, they'll be able to give him no help. Nope. How long does it take to become a, become a sushi uh, chef again? Well, About two minutes? Yep. Watts, ooh, wow. little catch and release right there. <laughs> Fall away slam by Watts. Sent Piranha into the deep water. Yeah. Swimming with the big fish now. Oh boy. Ooh. Watts in total control. It's like being at a Seattle market, Todd. Yep. Pike Street, fish just getting uh -oh. tossed. And oh. those gills are He's working overtime right now. Having a hard time breathing in there with the big squash god. Well, fish out of water for sure. You can't believe a fish isn't beating a squash god. Ooh! Piranha though. Got some bite in those strikes, I'll tell you that. Look out here, oh my goodness. No water in the pond. Oh man, flopping fish out of water, look at this. Looking like the end of the Faith No More video. And things are not looking good for Piranha. Watts only had to throw him twice and then Piranha's beating himself up. Up, done. Oh wow. Thought it was gonna be another epic move on the way by the squash god, but did not, have, oh, oh, caught him. The power. Piranha. Piranha cannot Rana here. He was looking to take the big man up and over. Wow. Not going to happen. How strong is Watts? One hand just hold. No hand. Just not even holding him. Well, Piranha not known for their tail power. Known more for their jaw strength. And that's what caught him there. Yep. Uh-oh. This is it. Oh. 
Watts has him caught. Look oh. out here, choke force. Done. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Watts. Squash God calls his shots and sends Piranha back out to the deep blue sea. Let's take a look at the action brought to you by Lights Out Extreme Fighting, July 6th in Burbank, California. Piranha trying to get the Rana, could not do it, and then reels him in, does what? Power bait, power bomb, one, two, three. Let's hear from the big man. What? Firstly, congratulations, but I have to ask you, why have you been asking for multiple opponents every week? That's completely crazy. As you know, we are on the road to the red carpet rumble. And I'm out here to send a message to all the boys in the back. No one is safe. Welcome back to the studio. Have a seat and join us in the Court Lounge. Whether you're looking for a temporary or not so temporary furniture solution in Memphis, Court on Shelby View Drive offers a wide selection of high quality furniture for rent, plus convenient delivery setup and even pickup options. If you want to know more, call 901-365-2560. Great action in the first half hour and we've still got an impressive, massive main event coming up. Another win for Super Beetle and Jervis, but yes. we can't ignore the fact that newcomers Sketch and Noctis have been teaming regularly lately. In time, they very well could be the sleeper story of our tag team division. Maybe our son Brady's favorite, Rogelio, <laughs> picked up a big win looking to rebuild some momentum after losing his title shot at Coastline Clash. He, along with Watts, are two, in my opinion, of the biggest threats heading into the 2019 red carpet rumble match just because of their size. Well, last week you said that you had high hopes for Watts and it sound like he agrees. Strong, confident words from Watts after easily defeating another fresh talent. Wait a minute, was that a fish joke? Mm. Oh my gosh, anyway, it's main event time. That's right, the stars of the tag division collide. No titles on the line, but with so much chaos on all sides of the ring, this is sure to be exciting. Eight man tag team main event. When we return, don't go away. Hey, Maria. Hey, Dr. Burns. Good to see you, Dusty. Hey. How's it going? Good. Hey, um, I thought nobody ever waited. Oh, Bill? He's not waiting. He's just enjoying his free coffee. Come on, let's go on back. Crosstown Dental Group, Dentist of the Stars. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. It's the Tag Team Attorneys, Matt Nordfit and Paul Prather. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Paul. And we're the Tag Team Attorneys. If you have an issue you need help with, or maybe you just have a legal question, give us a call to tag us in so we can knock it out. 901-545-2TAG. Attention, those who have used Monsanto's Roundup Weed Killer in a commercial setting and developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. In the past year, juries have decided that Roundup Weed Killer caused plaintiffs to develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. If you or someone you know were exposed to the Weed Killer Roundup in a commercial setting and later developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call now, 800-573-5630. Every Saturday is Saddle Creek Saturday. Sure is. Saddle Creek is home to more than 40 shops and restaurants that you won't find anywhere else in Memphis or the Mid-South. It is one of a kind shopping experience with complimentary Wi-Fi pet friendly shopping and special events year round. I can't wait for the beer garden coming this summer. I know you can. They were voted best shopping center and Memphis most. Visit shopsofsaddlecreek.com for a full list of places to shop and dine. Plus, follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Shops of Saddle Creek. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me at this time is number one contender to the Hollywood Heritage Championship, Adrian Quest. Adrian, despite your contendership ranking, Robert Baines will actually be challenging Andy Brown for the Hollywood Heritage title next week. How is this affecting your mindset? Yo, so not only did I beat one or two, but I beat three. Three of the best that championship wrestling from Hollywood has to offer to become 
the Hollywood Heritage number one contender. But not only that. What's up, sweet cheeks? Hey, yo, so you got hurt? You know damn well I saved you that night. Look, man, I know you do what you do for the homies and all, but I need your help, really. I do want to say thank you, but... Uh, no, 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 no. It's been a minute. Where's my title shot? Like, don't trip, potato chip. I got you. Just let me get through Banes and everything, and then after that, I'll give you what you want. But, like, look, I don't need your help with Banes. I got this. All right, if you think you could handle your own weight, then I then. You don't believe me? Just watch. The following contest is a four-on-four -four tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 375 pounds, Ryan Taylor and Thomas A. The Soul Burners. Last time we saw this entrance, it was at the world-famous Irvine Improv. The tambourine is back. Big smile on the face of Ryan Taylor. It's his favorite song. The Soul Burners, very competitive in that four-team elimination matchup at Coastline Clash, but did not walk away United Tag Team Champions. Stop posing, Dan Joseph. I want to see if action. I can do that. Tree pose. Don't hurt yourself. And introducing their tag team partners, representing Jamie Iovine's upper class, the team of Chris Bay and Sway Thompson, double platinum. I gotta believe this is gonna be at best an uneasy alliance. The Soul Burners are gonna have to be centered if they're gonna deal with the likes of Iovine in his upper class double platinum. I mean, we have four teams that are gonna be in this match that all don't like each other. They all want to be champions. It's it's gonna be hard to work together with guys that you wanna beat up next week. It's it's tough. Well, that's what I'm saying. Last time we saw these four teams, it was every team for themselves. Mm -hmm. That elimination match for the tag titles at Coastline Clash. This match not for the titles, a tag team division showcase. So the Soul Burners and Double Platinum gonna have to join forces. And introducing their opponents. First, from the Nebula Emission Spiral, the team of BHK and Yuma, the Rock Ness Monsters. Again, that elimination championship match at Coastline Clash, so wild and unpredictable, and amazingly, the four-time champions, the Rock Ness Monsters, were the first team eliminated. Yeah, it's a different type of match when you got all those teams firing in and out, new competitors, they're, they're very, very good working together. Very, very good going up against another team. But other teams, that's a monkey wrench. And introducing their tag team partners from Reno, Nevada, at a combined weight of 470 pounds, they are the United World Tag Team Champions, Luster the Legend and Adam Thornstow, the Reno Scum! The two-time and reigning and defending United Tag Team Champions, the Reno Scum, erupted back on the scene, won the titles back from double platinum in a match that the Rock Nest Monsters was scheduled to be part of. And then were the last team standing at Coastline Clash, outlasting all of their challengers to hold on to the tag team goal. Yeah, a match like that was really, really in their wheelhouse. They're big, strong guys. They're built for fights. They're built for these wars of attrition and just keep going until the other guys can't stand up anymore. But right now, again, getting teamed up with somebody that uh, up until recently they've been fighting with. They have, but I gotta believe there's at least mutual respect between the champions and the four time champions, the Rock, the Rock Nest Monsters and, and the Reno Scum. On the other side, I mean, what do you make of any type of teamwork you're gonna see out of the Soul Burners in double platinum. I, 
who's to say? I can't imagine that Chris Bay and Sway Thompson are, are really happy having to work with the Soul Burners, but. I mean, they say opposites attract, but I don't know. Yeah, oh, your, your, your wife must be very beautiful. She broke, okay. she, she, in my mind, she is because she's non existent. So. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to be one half of the champs, Adam Thornstow. Thought it was uh, going to be starting it off with Sway Thompson, but getting on his horse and riding out of town. And Ryan Taylor, all too happy to jump into competition. What a matchup here to kick things off Man. Thornstow versus Taylor. Yeah, these two guys. Pretty equal in power and size, maybe. Maybe Taylor a little bit more versed in technical wrestling, but Thornstow probably a little tougher. This is going to be a fight. Two dangerous competitors. They oh. can do it all. Look at the speed of both of these men. They're great strikers as well. Agile. But right now, yeah, showing their agility in the early going. Whew. Looking for the stomp countered there by Ryan Taylor into a pinning combination. Both guys jockeying for position. Beautiful roll through. There's that technical wrestler you wrestling. You spoke of crucifix the other way. That was close. Tough to keep up with this. Oh, just in some strikes now. Just trying to catch. Like you said, partner, even, even. Ugh. The only team in this encounter never to hold the United Tag Team Championships are the Soul Burners. They would love to change that someday. Oh, this thing does Whoa. have that powder keg <laughs> ability. Good luck, referee, keeping these guys all separated. Well, this thing could break down in a hurry. We'll see if we can get this match started officially when we return. We are finally out of potty training stages, and I feel like I can finally get my furniture back. We need something that's affordable and durable. Quartz Furniture is always high quality, plus they come with a Quartz Certified Guarantee. Get up to 70% off new retail prices and choose from a wide variety of previously leased sofas, bedroom sets, dining sets, and more. Make the smart choice and visit Court Furniture Clearance Center today at our Memphis location or check our inventory online. Mention TV20 and get 20% off. Sonic Summertime Chicken BLT has basil, aioli, and melty mozzarella. It's like they took a BLT and turned it on its head. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, mine's just upside down. Oh, there we oh, go. Whew. Oh, I thought we were upside down for a second. Hurry in for summertime BLTs. Order ahead for happy hour anytime. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey, you're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Call or go to mypillow.com. Use the promo code and save over 50% with Mike's four pack. You'll get two My Pillow Premiums and two Go Anywhere pillows. It's one of his best offers ever. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Championship Wrestling and Jerry Lawler's Classic Memphis Wrestling brings you the Jerry and Jerry Show featuring a night with the King and Calhoun. Join us. We'll be your hosts as we get the never-been-told stories through the eyes of legendary referee Jerry Calhoun and the King. It all goes down July 21st at 159 Beale Street. Get your tickets today at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back to this wild eight-man tag team matchup featuring the very best of our tag team division. Now, before the break, total chaos. We've restored some bit of order here, but Jamie Iving getting involved. Now, I had mentioned that the Soul Burners never tag team champions. Of course, Ryan Taylor has held tag team gold in the past, but I was mentioning the Soul Burners as a team have right. never held the titles. Yeah, Taylor, he's held everything here at this at championship wrestling from Hollywood, but right now, the throat of Adam Thornstow getting held against those ropes. <laughs> See, this double platinum, tenacious, opportunistic. They're not the biggest guys. They're not the... <laughs> How about BHK trying to, uh, trying to catch him from the outside? Yeah, BHK, he'll, he'll do what he can to. <laughs> go catch a piranha later, too. 
Some fishing skills. But look at this. See, Thornstow, he wanted to fight. Everybody was kind of all together. He came to grab double platinum, and they just brought him right in. And since then, it's been all double platinum. Big shot by the ultimate finesser into the cover goes Chris Bay. Chris Bay at one time was known as the next best thing, was under the wing of then four-time television champion Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky recently came back, dubious fashion, became a five-time champion. And think of how far Chris Bay has come. Look at this, now Ryan Taylor scoops up Adam Thornstow, has been isolated in this match for quite some time now. Samoan drop, here comes Thomas Day, Senton City. Mm -hmm. These guys, they, they've been doing this for, oh! There's the tag. See, these guys, they're not gonna work together very well. They'll work together with their own teammates, but man, everybody wants to get the win. I don't know if Suede wants to get what's behind him right now. Well, don't turn around, Suede. You're not going to like the view. Big Luster back there, checks into the matchup. Uh-oh, look out. Spills trouble Ugh. for the CEO oh. of Suede Array. Oh, he's going to be singing the high notes. He'll be singing his own commercial jingles. Tag is made, and now you got the champs working together and working over Thompson. Biggest little beatdown. Yeah, this, this team, if they're able to work together, this team of Rockness and Reno Scum, you got the strength and power of Reno Scum. You got that creative, unpredictable nature. Those moves that Rockness comes through, that BHK comes up with. It's, it's a, almost impossible. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, man. Uh. Going intergalactic to Pity City. Is that the Sarlacc pit? Yeah, going to the Wastelands. Oh! Uh. Way out there in Batu for that one. And now scoop slam here by Luster and more tag team continuity being displayed by the champs here in the Reno Scum and the former four-time champs, the Rock Death Monsters. Look at that tag made. Yep. No egos here. They're working together. Well, I mean, there's, there's not a lot. You can lose a lot more in this match if you're Reno Scum than you can win. You're not going to lose. Ooh. Oh. BHK is so heavy when he falls on you, it's just painful. Incredible double team offense there. That's what brought the Rock Nest Monsters to the dance. And again, their ability to work together effectively with their partners has been the difference maker. Look at this cover. Mm -hmm. See, after those double team moves, BHK just grabs the ankle, rolls Suede away from his corner, brings him in, sits all his weight down, and now Suede is just isolated against Rock Ness, isolated against Reno Scum. It's these two teams, I, they're ugly and I don't like them, but they're good at isolation. Snap Mayor takedown there by Yuma. Ooh. And Sway Thompson escaping a black hole there. Man, Yuma did not like that. But not so mad at Ryan Taylor. But look at this, Thompson still all by his lonesome, pulling out all the stomps, trying to get to his corner. There's Ryan Taylor, looking for, makes the tag. Oh, he was looking for Bay, though. Two of the greats in the history of this program going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Two former Heritage champions. Oh, look at this scissor kick by the Swiss Army Knife, and it's sharpened up. We got the biggest man on Ryan Taylor's team going up against the smallest man on the Rock Nest Reno Scum team. Good isolation, good way to separate, drag him in. And now come the Soul Burners. Soul Burners looking good here, rolls through. Little yoga flame, yoga fire here by Thomas Day. It's got Yuma. Oh, reaching for those ropes, but Thomas Day just tying up that firearm. Don't want to get in a flexibility battle with Thomas Day. Tag is made. Oh, look at that, though. The ultimate finesser. Wow, they want in. Trying to be the ultimate opportunist. I mean, could you imagine? Oh, man, he's just digging right in. I hope he clipped Vicious. his nails. No fun at games till you lose an eye. But imagine being double platinum. You win the tag team championships, and almost, almost immediately, you lose them. Reno Scum returns, and they take back their titles. You want them back. You want to win. You want to beat the four-time champion, uh, Rock Nest Monsters. You want to beat the current champion, Reno Scum, and you want to become number one contender. 
Reno Scum Rock Nest Monsters having a word with the official because no tag was made with double platinum. Phantom tag. Headbutt there by Yuma doing whatever he can. Desperation move and it's not going to get it done. Thompson up to the task to cutting off the ring here. I mean, we've had a, with the, uh, the belts being vacated relatively recently, we've had, oh, Pavard two. No. We've had a, a relatively wild tag team division. These guys have been really fighting a lot hard. They just want, want to get this win, does double platinum to get back on top and get that number one contendership. When you got to think the Rock Dust Monsters have something to prove too after being the first team eliminated at Coastline Clash. More grappling here and submission attempts by Thomas Day looking to uh, give Yuma a little surf lesson here on the West Coast. Here at the Ocean View Pavilion turning into it is Yuma trying to battle his way out calling the audible now is Ooh. Thomas Day into a Fujiwara armbar variation nicely done yeah. by Thomas Day he he just has so many moves he's got so many ways to tie you up a quick two uh, you may able to get the pin attempt oh man again tag team titles not on the line this time out but a lot of bragging rights and a lot of positioning in the ranks of the tag team division you would think Yuma, he's been in there for a long time. Taylor able to just sight and line him up. Get down. Yuma trying to fight out of this. And complimentary oh. offense to what Thomas Day was doing, going right back, trying to manipulate the joints, trying to go back for submissions. So building oh. on what his partner did, taking a bite out of crime, though, is the space cop. He's going the wrong way. Let's see if Taylor's going to, yeah, he's going to grab and bring him back. Try to get back, uh, try to get Thomas Day back in there. Man, get, getting bit hurts. Yuma trying desperately to get to his corner, and this, the body positioning, not going to help him here. Yuma in big time trouble will return right after this. Again? Happens. Justin, Maria, hey, how y'all doing? We're back. Oh, what yes, brings you see me today? Oh my goodness, let me guess. <laughs> Bill Dundee. Yes. Well, I should have known. We'll get you fixed up. See, I told you. Oh. Crosstown Dental Group. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-604-0483. That's 1-800-604-0483. Attention current and future Medicare recipients. If you have recently enrolled in Medicare, or if you will enroll in original Medicare within the next few months, you may be eligible to get extra benefits such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage included in your plan. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan with hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage combined together in a single plan that may include extra benefits such as hearing, dental, and vision for one affordable payment or in some cases a $0 monthly plan premium regardless of your income. Medicare Enroll America will help you shop plans to find affordable prices and the right coverage for you, even if you're already enrolled in Original Medicare. Are you eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan and possibly a $0 monthly premium, regardless of pre-existing conditions? Call 1-800-274-0105 to speak with a licensed insurance agent now. Call 1-800-274-0105. Our big eight-man tag team main event continues. And it the pendulum momentum continues to swing towards the side of the Soul Burners. And double platinum. Even and it's really been the Soul Burners isolating Yuma. Yeah, yeah, even being in control. We saw earlier with Rockness and Reno kind of working together a little bit. But it's this is it has been all Soul Burners. There, yeah, see again, in comes Ryan Taylor. They're not trading in with double platinum, who's not appreciating this on the side. Snap suplex there. Follows in now does Ryan Taylor with the pinpoint precision knee strike. And the team, we thought they oh. might not work together. Well, and here you see it. That was quite a tag, forceful tag. 
Tomas, he, Thomas Day, rather, he's gotta, he's gonna have to rein in Ryan Taylor. You're not gonna beat these two teams if you can't work together with everyone on your side. Yeah, but the Sol the Soul Burners in double platinum have, in essence, made three of their opponents a complete non-factor in the in the last minutes. Yeah, that's definitely happened. But look at this, they're, they're trying to focus more on each other than on the guy in the ring, and that's gonna cost you. We'll see, I mean, how much fight can Yuma possibly have left? The numbers game has not been to his advantage. Oh, catching the shot there. Oh. Yeah, these guys, they've been in so many battles with each other throughout the years. They know what's coming. Know each other really well, Yuma with a nice counter into the uh, jawbreaker, but still cutting off the ring as Ooh. Taylor. Oh, look at that, scissors, and then took him straight down into the mat. Nice maneuver there by Yuma. Yeah, driving, driving Taylor's face into the ground. See, Taylor, he had to reverse, he had to reverse that whip. He didn't want to throw Yuma right into the corner where Reno Scum was, and Yuma, he took that time, reversed it, figured out how to counter, and now, He's looking to make the tag. Who's he gonna tag? Goes tried and true, goes to his partner, BHK, who is fresh, and that is a nightmare for anybody on the other side of the ring. This guy will hit you from everywhere. He's so creative. <laughs> the height he gets. Two of the most incredible athletes in all of the program going at it here, look at this. Slammed off the top, but BHK was able to roll through and avoid a lot of the shock of that body slam and just keeps on rolling. Taking out double platinum, but Tomaste using that, using that time to get up. Tomaste off the Ooh. top, cross body, rolls through though. Momentum, momentum, momentum for BHK. He's a master of it. Look out here. Ooh, drives him down. Maybe that's sorry and spike part two there. Something, he just threw him around. Hey, look, there goes Double Platinum. They've had enough of the Soul Burners in the ring right now. Look out here, though. Off the top, Adam Thornstow, one half of the tag team champions. Ooh. I would not want to be the official in this one. Good luck keeping things straight. Look at this. Neckbreaker DDT in stereo. That's some serious punk music. The big man coming in. Oh, here it come, corner to corner. Oh, coast man. to post, coast to coast. Wow, look at the velocity on these clotheslines in the corner, nowhere to go but down when Luster is teeing off. God. Using the force now. Whoa. Look Working at that. together. Montello spike. Look at the solidarity between the champions and former champions. Don't tell me, look at this. A little variation wow. of the weapons. Great Balonium off the shoulders of Luster. Oh. <laughs> oh, never thought we'd see that. Wow, what a difference. Those four working together compared to the other four. That's been all the difference. Look at this, double battering, battering ram. This is a true dream team. Wow. I don't know if there's enough force to well luster. We'll see, do they have enough? Mm -hmm. Put the brakes on. I don't know if he Ooh. did or his opponent's heading for the hills and now Ryan Taylor checks in. Oh, soul burners. Oh man, those legs driving through two opponents. Ryan Taylor goes up upstairs, Thomas stay back in. Wild action, now you see some double teaming. But by see the Soul again, Burns. two guys in. Soul Burners there, their partners outside. You're not getting that four man continuity that we had with Reno and Rockness. Soul Burners gotta finish this now. Oh my goodness, we saw it on the outside at Coastline Clash. Are we gonna see a burning man here? Ah. No, Yuma! Whoa! Oh, and he got caught. Ooh! He got caught by Thornstow. Look at this, German suplex by BHK. Thorn's still holding on. Double platinum leaving. This is, this is turned onto a four on two. Oh, this is not oh, looking wow. good. Look out here. They're looking for explosive amnesia. And Thomas Day's gonna wanna forget he was One, ever in this matchup two, after that. Three. 
Wow! Here are your winners, the Rock Nest Monsters and the Reno Scum! What a victory by the champions and four-time former champions. It really came down to who had mutual respect. Yeah. Who could put egos aside and work together? Well, Todd. Hey boys, congrats on the big victory, but we got some news for you. I, uh, I guess you can add detective work to the list of things that we're better at than you two earth jerks. You see, we found out who attacked you two. And you know what? They're a lot closer than you think. Vermin, a transition. Whoa! Transmission by Vermin, and what in the heck are the uh, Reno Scunt doing? Vermin said that your assailants were a lot closer than you think. You're telling me that <laughs> the champions were the ones that laid out the Rock Nest Monsters that took them out of that tag team title match? Wow, they are scum, Todd. I'm surprised you're surprised. Wow. Well, the plot thickens for sure because Getting the Rock Nest Monsters out of the picture made it that much easier for them to regain the gold. I mean, here I thought it was Vermin the whole time that beat up Yuma and BHK. Turns out these guys didn't want to have to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Now, devastating shot with the title. This is a just a vulgar display of power by the tag team champions, Ooh. eradicating the competition taking out the four-time champs. Well, I guess it's not the first time, is it? No. It's not the first time. Not the first time. Not the second time. Whew. Wow, Reno Scum standing big and strong. Champions on the top of the food chain. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next week. Welcome back to the studio, folks, where for the second week in a row, we are in complete shock. Now, speak for yourself. I wasn't shocked at all to see Jamie Iovine lead double platinum into retreat, they just stranded the Soul Burners in a two-on-four situation. I didn't think for a second they'd get along, but what happened after the match answers just as many questions as it creates. Rockness and Reno Scum worked together so well, and it led to a victory, but the celebration was short-lived. Yeah. When Vermin appeared on the screen again to hassle their rival, clones? Clones? This time, Vermin wasn't there to distract. They said they knew who attacked Rockness months back when Reno Scum regained the gold. I don't think anyone in the galaxy would have believed who they blamed, but Reno Scum annihilating Rockness. That just more than proves that Vermin did have the facts. Reno Scum have turned their back on their longtime friends and supporters, but once again, the tag team division is in complete chaos. Yeah. Thank you for joining us again, and tune in next week. Uptown Andy Brown defends his Heritage Championship against the evil and mysterious Robert Baines. Just wait till you see him. But before we go, we want to say happy birthday, Brady. Happy birthday, buddy. We love you. See you next week, everybody, right here on Championship Wrestling.